Clock is at 6.30. Ding dong. So let's open the January 23rd meeting of the Town of Rutland Planning Board. And I suppose I'm, I'm, st I'm starting to th think a little bit like Peter Crane. He always goes through who's present. Yes. Yes, we all are present. We're not past yet. <laughs> yeah, right. So, Give me another week. So present in the room, we have me. Tim Narwhal, Dick Williams, Tim, Keith Suttle, uh, Britton, Britton Bradford, Bradford yes, sir. John Charbonneau, town planner, and myself, Norm Anderson. And no guests. And no guests, at, at least not yet. Quiet. We got, behind you, you got Leah and Tomika. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, that's right. Remotely Tomika Murphy. Excellent. So I was going to say, I didn't see you up there first. I'm like, crap, who's going to take minute notes? <laughs> because I, I have doctor's writing. I can make you a hell of a prescription. There you go. And you guys have over <laughs> there have already signed. Yeah, Fred's already taken a few of those. He just doesn't know it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. First thing we have is minutes of January 9. I didn't have anything when Dot was in. That was good. I have a motion to accept January 9th minutes. Second. Very thorough. Even though I might have red markings on here. <laughs> Is there any discussion? None. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Special permit five meds and Norm, seat. it's Tamika. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, Britain will have to abstain because he wasn't here last time. Correct. Ah, okay. 4-0-1. 4-0. Okay. Special permit decision, which we have in front of us. Yes. So obviously, Britain um, will not be signing this decision because we did not vote on that project. Um, the other thing that just popped into my mind again: Have we sent off a new filing record to the registry? A new filing record mm -hmm. with our signature. Signatures. Uh, Tamika has has new has does the registry. I know I have something in my file at the office. When's the last time, um, I know you talked about that, getting Brit Britain's signature for the registry? Yes, the last time it was updated, um, I did it this past July. So it's going to have to be redone with Britain's signature on there. Yes. But everybody else that's going to sign tonight is all set. So we should probably put that on the agenda for the 13th to do all the signatures to get it yeah. to make yeah. it. Yeah. It has to be a, whole, a complete form filled. Yeah, because yeah, we got to do two if I remember right. Yep, you have to do one for like subdivisions and one for a and R's. I think it is. Oh, okay. Yes. Yep. So um, if I can go through the decision quickly. Yep. So, I mean, it's very basic. This was not anything out of the ordinary for an accessory dwelling unit. Um, the front page is just the title, the date, um, today's date with the project summary and procedural history of when the application was submitted and the public hearing was held and it was closed on January 9th. Then the list of application materials and then the various findings um, on the applicant, the lot, and also the zoning district. Um, the fact that the lot's located in a neighborhood that consists of single-family residential uses. And then the various review criteria according to our subdivision rules and regs relative to accessory dwelling units. This is identical to the way they were listed in previous decisions. Um, basically, I just kept the same format and just made comments that were relative to um, this project. Um, proposal is not expected to have an adverse effect with respect to the criteria. The proposed addition will be built in accordance with the Massachusetts Building Code, which requires adequate light and air. So I'm not going to go through every single criteria. Um, no, it's just so, basically off of yeah. the existing bylaw. And then I'll just go through the conditions quickly, which are very standard. Um, the accessory dwelling unit shall be constructed in substantial conformance with 
with and as shown on the plot plan submitted July, uh, dated July 21st, 2005 and amended through December 7th, 2023, consisting of one sheet, elevation plans and floor plans. Applicant shall obtain all local permits required for the construction and occupancy of the ADU. There shall be no more than one accessory dwelling unit on a lot. The owner of the single family dwelling with which the accessory dwelling unit is associated shall occupy at least one of the dwelling units on the lot and they must occupy it full time for a minimum of six months over a 12 month period. They must obtain a certificate of occupancy from the building department prior to use or occupation. Short term rental or related principal is prohibited. The owner shall record the special permit with the registry of deeds. And when a structure which has received a special permit is sold, the owner if they wish to continue the permit, must within 30 days of the sale submit documentation to the town planner and building commissioner, stating that they will occupy one of the dwelling units on the premises as required. And then it's simply the motion that was made by Tim, seconded by Dick, 400. Motion by Keith, seconded by Dick, 400. And then just the signature page. Is this we don't have to do anything with this because we've already... Uh, yep. You just have to endorse the... Yep, I, I have a clean it. copy of the last page that will go to the clerk's office tomorrow. The only sign. other thing is it probably is not necessary, but I know uh, Dave George usually put down the individual votes, each one of our names. Oh. And yes, yes, yes. yes. But I In a table? I could I could add that. Uh, I, you know, I don't... I don't I, I don't think it's necessary. It's not necessary, but if it's a board preference, I can certainly add that to the next to last page if you'd like me to. We'll just do it on the next one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I don't want to change this one. I, ha I have done it for boards in the past. Some want. Some want this and little table. I some don't. So. I, I don't. I don't know okay. if there's a particular reason for it. I'm sure it's not a law. Well, sometimes they'll do that in the no. case of a special permit where it's a roll call vote. Mm -hmm. And that's why they'll have the table to show each member said yeah. yay or nay. Yeah. So maybe when it's, I, th I think when it's a roll call vote, that's... I don't think it's a bad idea for the special permit. No, mm -hmm. it's um, not. Yeah. In this case, I would say let's just sign it yeah. and we'll catch it on the next round. I could do it for all the decisions. It's not a big deal, guys, yeah, if, no. if you want to. All right. Play. Okay. Where I've seen it is if somebody's adamantly against the project. And they want it. Sure they want it to show, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sometimes they want their vote noted that they voted against something. Cause, yeah. Okay, are we signing blue or black? Uh oh. I just, I got, I got four. I, I've got black. All right. They still make those pens? I did yeah, have a black pen. Yeah, they do, baby. <laughs> and you know what? Free color. Had a boy. He keeps in his trapper Jeez. keeper. I, I, anytime <laughs> I run across, and they're made in France. So look, <laughs> look at the white portion. We surrender. <laughs> <laughs> that was on camera, so I really don't care. <laughs> I had a friend that was an F-111. It's, it's it not an accurate. pilot that was lost because of France, so I'm a little bit irritable it's with fine. that country still. Germans, we hold a long... There's some issues way back there. <laughs> we'll leave it there. Actually, had to do with Gaddafi, and how many decades ago was that? And please, uh, my middle name, Richard? No, it's R. It's Charles R. Williams because of what happened a long time ago. We had to sign, what, like 38? Oh, my laws. Yeah. yeah. And after that, oh. it's tired. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> just, just to let you know. It's, yep. Well, that'll be on the next, on the 13th, when we sign our signatures. Signatures. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, this will get filed with the clerk. And a notice of decision will be prepared, and I'll send those out to the abutters here in the next few days. Has to be done within 14 days. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, next agenda item: master plan. So sorry. No, no. This is this is it's 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 perfectly fine. Um, Tim got me a thumb drive with his comments on um, Dick's markup copy this morning, so I appreciate that. That being said, obviously, um, the boy hasn't had a chance to see the comments, so um, what, I would, what I would recommend if the boy's amenable to this is since the main 
comments came from Dick, and Tim and I reviewed them and went through them and collated them. Um, if the if the board's amenable to this, could Tim, Dick, and myself meet in my office at some point in the next week or so to simply go th go through Dick's comments and Tim's comments and my comments and basically collate them and organize them and present them to the board at the ne at the next meeting whenever they're ready. You know, I, I don't have a problem with that. Um, I, I guess the only thing I'm kind of thinking is there something that really stands out that would be worthy of a discussion tonight. Um, Tim, I'll leave that. I'll, I'll leave that to Tim. There's only there's only a couple things that really. I mean, I, I I don't have anything that I think I would need to discuss and go back and forth. There's definitely some really good comments from Dick in here. Um, you know, I think one of the things you mentioned, and I forget the intersection, Dick. I apologize. You mentioned it when you came into town hall the other day about the sight distance and the and the safety. Uh, yes. What intersection was that? <laughs> One twenty-two. And. Pleasantdale. Yes, it is okay. Pleasantdale. There you go. So um, that's the type of comments that I, you know, that I'm really interested in. A lot of a lot of the comments that Dick made were informational corrections and things like that. But there was some, I think, in the implementation section, I there were a few comments that I think are, are worthwhile to um, to definitely be changed and substantial. Yeah. Some of the some of the comments were um, were editorial in nature. Um, so yeah, and, and as far as the body of the document, I'll I'll take the recommendation of the of the planning consultant Richard Harris, that in terms of comments within the, the body of the main document, those are things that I can work with CMRPC to implement. Um, After I give it to Janet. Yeah, I know you've been talking to Janet. <laughs> so um, so then um, what that leaves is the the implementation. Like I said when we previously discussed this, the implementation and executive summary are really the meat of what. This document is about in terms of implementation action items going forward. The rest of it is uh, is largely informational, so um, that's that's why the focus would be on. I'm trying to keep my cool. Keep no, cool. no, I, Norm. No, don't. Most of the, a lot of the comments because I went through every freaking one of them. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of agreement on Dick. There was a lot of comments in here that he caught that I like. I just put next to it, agree, agree, yes, needs mm -hmm. to be done. Needs. I mean, I made some comments like on, I, I don't know, on training and stuff like that for the town. I mean, um, I, and, you know, some things that, you know, should be handled by the planner, not by the recommendation of what CMRPC said. So I don't have any earth shakers in here. It's more of adders to what Dick made. Or, or addendums to uh, his comments. So I think this meeting would, would clarify uh, all of these. And again, I just went through the last 19 pages yeah. and then the implementation portion um, and made comments to that. I didn't, because when I started flipping through the big document, the, uh, how do I say this? I was a little disappointed in all the grammatical and, and um, I'll just stick with grammatical mistakes that was done in there. And um, just, if I was my English teacher from high school, yeah. there'd be a serious discussion <laughs> on the side afterwards. <laughs> and, and like Say I, the least. And like, <laughs> like I said, for the sake, there's a lot of time, money, and effort has gone into this document. It's important that this get adopted so we are not without an active master plan to vote. So again, for the sake of getting this adopted, you know, I don't want to spend too much time on grammatical things and everything. I want to yeah. I want to look at the implementation because that's the important thing. Because at the end of the day, the if, meat is right here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, mean, I, I agree on that. And, and this I, meat can I be you get to it that bothers me, and I don't want other entities to grab this and then hey, look what they wrote. Let's use that. I think once we get the meat taken wrong. care of, Dick, that it wouldn't it would behoove CMRPC to take this meat and go back and and fix their big section. That's not our responsibility. That's what they should be doing. If Dan doesn't agree to that, I'm I'm going to have a tough time because then we, as a planning board, spent the time going over. I'll call it the executive summary because it's been said before, and that executive summary was actually taken from that, let's just say, a couple hundred pages. So I would, my expectation is once we got this cleaned up, you can easily back that into those sections and clean them up. 
that's that's my opinion. I don't know what the rest of the board thinks, but I think that's a good way to handle it. And then you have a complete document that, to Dick's point, take off the shelf. This executive summary matches the meat. So if somebody wants to read 200 pages, give them the power. Right. But, uh, but this is what I'm yeah. going to use and the yeah. planning board's going to use in terms of going forward. Oh, in, yeah. in, in other words, how do we get there? You know, what zoning bylaw amendments do we have to work on? What changes to our subdivision rigs do we have to work on? Yeah. Things like that. So that's that's really that's really yeah. mine and the board's main focus. not just for the planning board. No, there are other entities involved, but I can only speak for myself and the planning oh, board. Oh, yeah. I mean, I had historical commission, uh, TA, select board. Yeah. Rec. I mean, there was a whole bunch in there that all were part of the, uh, yes. you know, even the DPW was in there. I it's, mean, it's a town wide. I effort. made a ton of comments that our good buddy Joe, who is now at, at Amesbury, spent a good portion of, of very valuable money to get reports that this town can use for yeah. highway, I shouldn't say highway, road cleanups, long term planning yeah. for how to get prioritized what needs to. What needs to be fixed? I mean, he did a phenomenal job that way. Sewers that need so some of that stuff in there that mentioning to do that. That's where I had my tough comments. Like, we're not going to waste money redoing something that's already done. That Joe spent his time and effort as an engineer and PE getting it done with Stantec and and forward. So again, that's stuff the three of us could go over and, yeah. and codify and clarify. Well, the question is, are the three of you all agreed to doing that? As long as I can I'm make it on a Thursday. I don't know how much time it's going to take, but uh, I want to do it. But there again, I don't want to uh, stall other things I got going on. Would this be before 5 o'clock or after 5 o'clock? Well, I would hope it would be. I want, would want it to be during the day, yeah. I would yeah, I, I can't do this at night. Yeah. That's why, I, Dick, I was mentioning to John, Thursday afternoons are good for me because I can, I can break away. Because I can put extra hours in the week and then have a Thursday, f you know, like from noon to five or something like that, or noon to four. I, I would hope with the agreement that exists between Tim and Dick mm -hmm. that we could roll through this with, with, within an hour or two. Because if, if they're in agreement, then it's just for me to say, okay, let, let's, yeah, okay. let's change that. Well, you know? say, my, my only thing is that the three of you all agree to do it. Oh, I definitely do. I, I want, because I, I think. Well, if there it doesn't fall on the, the last Thursday of the month. Which is what's coming up, <laughs> mm -hmm. because so that's okay. I mean, if we have to do it the first Thursday in February, let's do it the first Thursday in February. So that would be better for me. Okay, then let's look at that. Yep. You know, I may not be able to make it to that meeting, even though it's really strong focus with you guys. But it'd be if I could come by and get a copy and just oh, and read them just to get an idea of what you guys. I love to email it, but it's it was twenty three. Yeah, don't well, worry. Because exactly. what you did, because what you did <laughs> yeah. was you basically took his PDF, his, his a copy Type of his, PDF. wrote it, and then took a picture, which made it a PDF yeah. instead of a Word document, and that's yeah. and that's yeah. what made, that's what yeah. bumped the memory up. Yeah, as long as yeah, I did a, I, I did a PDF because I wanted to. Um, my scanner does color, so I scanned it in in color because that way you can see mine are green, his are red. Yeah. <laughs> so and what I'll do is I'll be happy to come up with a list of yeah. all of every single change. Bullet items of what's of what's being changed from what to what. Yeah. And again, respecting the, that this has already been through a process. This isn't going to be things that are going to change the tone of the document. It's just getting it to a point where it's accurate. True. So yeah. that's that's the big thing is accuracy. Yeah. Because these gentlemen have the local knowledge of yeah. the town that I don't have. Actually, those two do. I'm just I'm coattailing it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been here long enough. We have 20 well, years. Yeah. So well, we don't have to take a vote on that. As long as the board is amenable to that, yeah, we, we can set that up. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. So and my hope is to have this done hopefully by the end of February. Have it ready for the board to vote on to accept. Okay. We're we better. <laughs> no sorry. Hey, Norm, it's Tamika. I apologize for interrupting. I just realized usually the board makes a motion to sign decisions, and you guys didn't do that for the, the um, Madison Ave. We already Thank did. You. Well, they took a vote at the. Oh, okay. Well, you take a separate vote it. to sign it? We usually take a vote, separate vote to sign it. I thought we did. No. no. Oh, yeah, I guess we didn't do that. We closed the hearing and voted to grant the special permit. Yep. And authorize me to prepare a decision. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
guess we go back and I'll make a motion to uh, authorize the board to sign the special permit. Second. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. No. Second. Yep. Yeah. Is there any discussion? <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. I was going to say we should use black pens. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So master plan's all set? I think so. Um, Madison Avenue is all set. Oh, and, and I I'll wait till we get to Bryce Estates because I didn't send you anything because I had more than enough text messages that when I mentioned the pothole, it was like, I didn't have to, I didn't have to send you anything because Tom Larson got involved, the the um, DP Chris got involved, um, so that's why John I didn't send you anything because it was fixed before I could yeah. even send you anything. Yep. <laughs> so that was Bryce, and I haven't been through to look at it, but I understand it's been at uh, I called it the Cadillac Killer has been fixed. No okay. more hole. Okay. So we do have a an update. It's not really a regular. Construction program from Queen Engineering on our various subdivisions. Um, and basically, as far as roadway construction and that sort of thing, nothing is happening. So, yeah. that's pretty much what he's saying. Um, oh, wait a minute. Where the heck is it? It's right at the end of the packet. But yeah, it's, like it's got memorandum on it. That one right Grizzly there. Grizzly Drive Roadway, complete the binder, and individual lots are rough graded. Subdivision construction not underway currently. Yeah. What? They're not doing anything. They're building houses, but they're not doing anything on the road. Yeah. Subdivision construction, to me, is the housing. Nope. He, he's talking about the infrastructure. Yeah. Which is, that's why I asked about all those blocks that were sitting on the side, and now right. I know what those I know. are. I know, those yes. are Those are going to be added it, down the road, the next, I guess. To the next layer. Yeah. Because I couldn't figure out, those Those look expensive. What the hell is it? He does not look at... I know, but it, interpretation. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I can kind of see that. That's well, why I blew up for kind of, because that's one of the reasons why... When I talked to Clee, what I wanted while his man was there digging holes and the excavator might be stalled for an hour or two, why not have the gentleman, you know, go out and make that trail connection while, you know. Oh, over to. Uh, over to the rail trail. Yeah, 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 yeah. So would you, no, would you like me to mention to Quinn Engineering to ask him to be a little bit more specific in his language on these reports or? I mean, uh, <laughs> when construction is actually underway, he Kevin's is very, really he is a good. very specific. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is just sort of a catch-up report for yeah. us because he hasn't yeah. done it, hasn't done any reports yeah. in a while. And uh, I'm... Uh, yeah, and I realize that definitely Britain and the States, they're building houses like mad. Well, yeah. It's probably all just not built out at this point, phase one. Yeah. But what I, I have heard, and again, this is grapevine, is that my illustrious Nightmare Bridge... It's cost the town 20 grand <laughs> because the, you know, what I was worried about are those, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, expansion thing. Expan thank you. The expansion thing <laughs> have failed expansion and had to be replaced <laughs> because the rubber had moved up and when the plows went over it, they caught the metal uh -huh, and no. bent it up and had to be replaced and to the tune of uh, uh, approximately. And I was just like, I, yeah. Again, because those have it, those are the done. Well, from what I understand, those bridges are going to be mass DOT. Yeah. Correct? They shouldn't cost the town anything. Right. Uh, I don't know if they've been accepted as mass DOT. But uh, they haven't been accepted by the town either. So yeah, that one have, has. That one has, unfortunately. Oh, that one has? Yeah, uh, it was part of the roadway yeah. acceptance. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. But again, it's just it's information. I'm not saying we have to do anything on it. I just. Um, and then I guess Weston and Stampson might be coming out to take a look at the support structures. So is that for Bryce Lemon, um, Britain Hill States? Britain, no. Do you want me to? Do, do you want me? To, Bear Hill. Bear Hill. Yeah. Oh, it's Bear so Hill. So do you want me to check on the status of the acceptance of those bridges and see if we can find out? Well, I, I'm almost positive that they were. Because that it road was, went to the on the other oh yeah, side of it. Yes, it, it was did. accepted by the town, but at least it was our understanding 
that once those bridges are accepted, the DOT was going to do an inspection. It's DOT. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let, let me check on that. That's just a Chris call, I think, John. It's just, Chris, yeah. what's going on? We're, the board's just yeah. curious because that yep. was a big contention point with us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it could be something that Chris doesn't even know. Correct. Very, yeah. Very true. So, but he'd be the one to follow up on that. Yes. Correct. Yeah. All right. Let me let me uh, send him an email tomorrow and I'll CC. Especially if, been, if, he, if his guys just paid 20000 uh, And again, I don't know the number. Just let's say... Thousands to fix it, and really, mass DOT should be paying for that. Yeah, but see, I don't. I do not remember all of the details. I, obviously, we go round and round and round. Oh yeah, <laughs> my understanding was once it's accepted, you got to. And again, this is general. Mass DOT has to come out and do an inspection, accept it, and that's where I thought it was going to die because it doesn't match up to their DOT standards and they were going to walk away. But we've never been told that. We don't, I don't That's right. That's right. We have I've never been seen a report or anything. I don't remember. <laughs> no, I, I, interesting. I, yeah, so, I don't, anyhow. See where it goes. Yeah, so yeah. let me follow up yeah, on okay. that and see where that stands. That's between the Gary and the Joe transition phase. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave it at that. Oh, God. Don't, don't get me wound up. You're going to wind me up. I can see this. Bananas and a six foot culvert would have done everything that was needed there. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Oh. Over, on, overkill? Very. Not, it was. It was mainly because of the height and the under yeah. going under. It would be like building the Golden Gate Bridge to get into Rutland Heights Hospital. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice drive. That'd definitely make the the property more appealing. I think. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, <laughs> Harmony Place would be digging that for the uh, chain. <laughs> Speaking of that, while we're I know um, Kevin mentioned it in his report, even though it wasn't approved by the planning board, that project is obviously moving forward. And um, although it took a few weeks. Um, I'm happy to say that, you know, the 53G account had gotten really low and they did get us a check last week to replenish that. So they're good to continue. That should keep uh, Kevin Quinn going out there for uh, at least another few months. So yeah. I'm happy to say that they've uh, they've gotten us that and they, they're and ready to I, do You can tell, Kevin, I spring. appreciate this coming into us just to keep us in loop. I know this is HPDD and mm -hmm. RDICs. It's where I'm looking, Bailiwick. But yeah. I'd like to know just because. More, more the roadways than it. <clears throat> yeah. I don't yep. care about the housing and the housing permits. I just yeah. want to see where that curiosity. Well, and for people who might not realize that this was not approved by the planning board. Yeah. I'm sure there are people out there who may think that the planning board approved this. At least if, if you gentlemen can be in the loop on this and someone asks you a question, you can clarify that. But at least you have the information as far as where it's Leaving the agreement, the roads were to be constructed to subdivision standards. Correct. <clears throat> yes. Yep. So. Yes. I believe David was on top of that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's that one. Um, we do have correspondence as of today. Again, not to discussion, but this is not on the agenda, but this is pertinent to a discussion that we will have at the... the um, <clears throat> on the agenda on the 13th, yeah. regarding this, uh, the subcommittee bylaw composition. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember. That. Yeah, Norman, I spoke about it on the phone today, and this might this might require an action by the planning board to, to tweak this. Yeah, yeah, I was reading this, and I'm going like, you know good 28-year-old veterans. <laughs> I only see two names on here that I know right off the top. <laughs> I was disappointed. This was, this you didn't, was, you didn't uh, remember a, a specific meeting from 1996. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is actually a pretty good date because five, two, three. Nine days from that date, uh, I said, hey, honey, will you marry me? She goes, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you saying you have mixed feelings about that date? No, no, not no, at all. Kidding. It was in Wally World, so uh, nothing can go wrong in Wally World in Orlando. Okay, just looking at this first page, we sat right out with a motion to appoint Britain to the bylaw subcommittee. So moved. Second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Go get sworn in, my young lad. 
Yeah, it'll do. I don't. I, I would cover myself in just. I, yeah, I suppose. It's it's not a bad idea. Yeah, no, not a bad, bad idea. But I don't think any of us were. Um, no. <laughs> no. You may be the I'll only, the only we official participant. <laughs> yeah. We were hey, elected. The ball. I'll give you the gavel. Good for me. <laughs> but I want to say on the subject of the bylaw subcommittee, I, I attended the first meeting in a while on the seventeenth, and I got to say it's, it was a very productive meeting. Yeah. And um, I really enjoyed the, the t questions and the conversations, and I thought it was one of the most productive meetings I've been a part of in a long, long time. So I do, I do just want to say one thing. It's maybe a bad thing to say, but attendance at those meetings is not required. We certainly hope we will. Right. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, honestly, because we need as good an input as we can get. And, um, and naturally, being on the committee, I can keep him informed as far as what goes on at those meetings and certainly being a member of the planning board. What's the frequency again? It's, it's. Hey, no, I'm trying to do every two weeks. Okay. And so next Wednesday, what I'm doing is I'm trying to do Wednesday at 630 every two weeks because the goal right now, and I, I guess I'm, I'm out of, am I out of line? By, no, go ahead. Is that um, we promised the town a couple meetings ago that we were going to try to get two I'm sorry, three bylaws through. We've done two of them. The third one was like an industrial park to help out business owners as they're getting, that's a tough one. Because mm. somebody wanted 96, 96 mm. acres. We're like, we, at the time that's there was not, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, when um, Capula's property came up and now there's another person interested, um, Dave, I keep, Putnam, Putnam. Putnam, thank you. And so we have a couple potential properties, and I think what we need to do is we need to write the bylaw, and then we can fit the individual properties into that. But I think that is more of a fall town meeting. We're not going to pull it off. So the second bylaw we really need to try to get through is the battery storage one. It's it's more of a uh, lighter lift, mm -hmm. um, and I really like to get that prepped and ready for May's town meeting if we can, which is going to require the that's, bylaw subcommittee. That's much farther along. Yes, and and we've got to have public hearings. So somewhere by early April or late March, we've got to start uh, putting the requirements for meet for public hearings on, yep. so we can get it ready for the May town meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's my goal is is in this January and February try to get that light lift out and, of the way. And what I'd like to do is I'm going on vacation from April, the second half of April. So those public hearings I'd like to have in early April so we can get those done before I go away and so they're done for town meeting. Um, so I'd, yep. like, I'd like to get those at the first meeting in April, uh, those public hearings. And I like the fact that what we've done is we've tried to incorporate it into as a, as a subsection of the solar bylaw because that's the intent with the Tier 1 and Tier 2 is it's going to be either handled with solar on people's roofs as battery um, support, or it'll be handled in like a solar field. I thought you were on just three, tier three. Tier three, I, I'm going to stay away from, which is which is the utility grade yeah. off a substation. I don't think we're ready for that yet, and, and that's why I said in the and when we were there, let's focus on one and two, and stay away from three because I I just. I think it's going to be tougher for the town to absorb that because it doesn't mean anything to them. We've got solar fields out there, so putting a battery generation facility there will be easy. And like I've heard through uh, the, the fire chief, there's probably 15 to upwards of maybe um, 17 houses that have already have a Tesla or a Generac battery system within them. But you know, we didn't have any bylaw for that, so. We need to get that in place to help future people if they want to do that. So that's why I just want to stick with tier one and two. Three basically is a sub that's in the south, which is Paxton, not ours. That's right. And then the north one, which is a Rutland one. And I, I don't think we should focus on a, a tier three that only affects one section or one piece of the town at this point. These are the largest systems, too. So yeah, yeah. Like and they're... They're run by the grid usually. Yeah, that's going to be grid based, and they're the ones going to be coming to us looking for a bylaw, and they aren't ready to do that yet. Yeah. And you do know that, of course, the one on Central Tree Road, which is not north but more southeast, is going to be in the in the Muscapog watershed. <laughs> 
Yes. So the, so no batteries, please. Well, I, no. I, if the tech's gotten better, what I won't do is what OCAM went through is with yeah. the cobalt stuff. That's not happening. I, I, that's why I said to Tom Corbett, I said, if you're coming with cobalt tech, you're going to have a hard sell with me. Lithium ion, I'm probably a little bit more flexible too from the tech, but cobalt's not happening. That's that's again in my mind, it's as bad as radiation. So I don't really want it in my town. Yeah. yeah. But again, it'll be up to the yeah. bylaw subcommittee. But anyhow, that's what we're operating. So that's a those are the the two heavy lifts that I want to get to, and then once we get those this summer, we can. Uh, there's a couple agricultural and right the farm that we can take a look at down the road and of course anything else that comes up there might be something else the town wants us to do or good. like we said many moons ago within Rutland is that if if you want to make a bylaw amendment or something get it to the planning board there refer it to the bylaw subcommittee and start action so that's the procedure that should happen and in this case now that we got the planner I work with uh, the planner and the chairman to get it to the to the uh, planning board to be referred to the bylaw subcommittee. Got it. That's it? Yep. That's my speech and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Although this May 14th of 96, what the <laughs> hell do we do with this? Hang on no. to it. And, yep, we'll and and look this, at it and say, can, wow. It's, it's, I, I like to put this on the 13th because I've already yeah. got some amendments I redlined at yep. home. Yeah. Do you yep. remember, Norm, where, the, where we held our meetings, though? Those meetings? I think that was upstairs. Upstairs in the no. auditorium. Oh, in the, the dance floor? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Room walled off. Yep. <laughs> Buckled floors and well if I'm <laughs> well if I'm looking at yeah. all four of these members, <coughs> it was a thin crowd. I'm not going up on that floor. Yeah. There right yeah. now. The big guy over here, he's not going up on that floor either. Neither one of us are touching. I don't like that shaky floor. things. <laughs> yeah, or this the, the floor looks yeah, like it was this. made that way, so I wouldn't yeah, worry too okay. much about it. <laughs> Unless that's chestnut or uh, yeah. cherry, I'm not touching it. I'm just, I'm just, just kind of curious on this thing because uh, I don't believe we ever did get a member from the ZBA. I don't think I went from the RDIC either. Right. And if, uh, you, if you take a look, well, I think it's not the RDIC. Hmm. I thought it said RDIC. Maybe I read that wrong. Maybe RDIC. In it was the EAIDC. Oh. That's originally how it yeah. started. Okay, like it was the Economic and Industrial Development Commission. That's correct. Yeah. Somewhere, and I don't remember when, it got changed. Changed. Uh, uh, so, right? so we actually took the My old man was on there when I changed it, too. Oh, so that's... <laughs> ah, well, that's good knowledge. It's useless. <laughs> yeah, no. But it's interesting. Yeah. It's a, it's just a little tidbit from my library of useless <laughs> information. <laughs> no, it, that actually. Britain likes the reference to Radio Shack in here. The tape recorder was, tape not, recorder working was not working. Yeah. 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 We'll call Radio Shack. Okay. Yeah. It, was like, okay. <laughs> it makes 1996 seem like 1956. <laughs> oh, yeah, another another <laughs> <just> <laughs> service engineer doing. Some of us were actually f fully operational. <laughs> yeah. back another then. interesting thing uh, the last line Harry will have duty checked on the fees. The most preliminary definitive plans for correct amounts. <laughs> yeah. 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 When <laughs> Judy left as taking care of all of that, I don't know if we ever did get everything straightened out. No. It was. It ever was. Well, I mean, they, they, they were finding checks that, that had just never been deposited. Yeah. Stuff all over and the place. And the filing cabinets all over the yeah. place. Oh, yeah. my God. It was. <laughs> no. oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We've come a long way. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Excellent. Anyway, yeah, there's no, there's no doubt that uh, well, we need to take another look at the and thank goodness, charge of the committee. You know? and thank goodness uh, we have Quinn Engineering and not Colin. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, We've got Colin, but they're in Florida right now doing this. Thanks, Cleve, for that money. <laughs> I remember he paid the fee. Literally, in that next Saturday, they closed up and bailed. <laughs> he was not a happy camper about that. And when I say bailed, I mean literally. Well, 
Okay. So the only thing his report now. Yeah, I was going to ask back on four. Um, have we had any movement with? And this might be to John with George sending in anything with the HOA on Hilltop, or is that still? <laughs> we have movement on that. It's going to be on the agenda for the thirteenth. Okay. To to uh, endorse the covenant and the um and the approved plans. I meant the HOA. Yeah, we you know town councils reviewed that. Any chance we can get it? Well, into again, it's going to be on the agenda for the 13th. I wanted to get everything reviewed by town council, and it'll be on the agenda for the 13th. Okay. All right. Good enough. Sure you don't want to have a, a turn into a town road. <laughs> they don't have to <laughs> I worry about that. Question. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I was talking to Clee about this, and um, homeowners associations, nine times out of ten end up being a headache mm -hmm. for the town because – over time, as people move out, move in, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, who's collecting the money? Are they really, are they really keeping up with the things they're supposed to be keeping up with? Whether it be drainage or roadways, landscaping, whatever, and then eventually, the town has to step in where, or they're asked to step in, and they can't because it's a homeowners association. So, I just think over time, homeowners associations end up being a headache. Yeah, all right. In this case. Because everything was private, I was adamant about um, it be tied to their deed, oh, yeah. Yeah. and it gives. And, and unfortunately, Joe is still. Yeah, so there. I don't. I don't want to go too far with this. Right. Just, <laughs> let's, well, let's. I want to know how is the town fixing the original problem of HOA? What's the original problem? Lenny Gingle. As a matter of fact, I started looking here to see if, if the subdivision, it said 10 rods, so it is not. Uh, what subdivision is this? I guess maybe we should put this as a question. Highlands to of Brunel Farm. Highlands of Brunel. East, east and west, and north, and yeah. south, and southwest, and north, okay. east. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I, and to me, that because the land own, owner and all that, if they did not uh, maintain the trail, the town was supposed to go in and maintain the trail, then turn around and charge I the think, homeowners. Again, I don't want to get into it. I've, I've, but who I, owns the property? Uh, again, I don't, I don't is know. Is it the town? Again, this is not <laughs> part of this. No. So. Yeah. Do you remember if it was the town the, the, on that CR, on that, between where this is and Devil's School? I don't know. Devil's Devil School. It was a trail in the air that was supposed to be kept up. It was never really made. Yeah. Part of it was. Just barely. I walked it. <clears throat> I walking it. Yep. I think we should... Uh, yeah, I can... <laughs> but to me, it was never completed. It, and they, they kept on pulling away from it. Pull away. Don't, don't, don't look at it. Don't yeah. do this. Don't do that. No, I want to know what about the piece of property up there. Is it the town's responsibility for that piece of land? Which I think it is. I thought it was turned over to the town. How do we? So how do you, you know, do we you don't just throw this under the bus and say, well, we'll let somebody else take care of it. No. You know, do I, find I guess out what about I'm looking at. Well, I have no idea what I'm finding out about. That's why no, I that's, that's, yeah. but, that, but that's why I like emails. So I know what exactly to look for. Because coming out of this conversation, yeah. I don't know what to be looking for. So. We can talk a little bit about it some other time. Yeah, because, uh, Norm, what, to Dick's point, it's basically we got to give John some, where, where does he go with this? I mean, how did, how did, you're going to have to go back through the files, basically, the subdivision files, and look at the HOAs from the, um, what's the word I'm looking for, the orders or the, the I, I say orders of condition, but that's not right. There probably were none. Conditions of approval. Conditions of approval. And then from there, it, it's, it would, should be recorded with the registry. I mean, it, it's going to be some, it's a little bit of work involved with this. Yeah. And yeah. that's assuming that all that process was followed. I, I've, I've got a hunch that it did not. You're going to find out that, yeah. That Lenny it, didn't. He grabbed the money and took the money. And I, But I would say going forward the last five to seven years, we're going to be a lot better off than what we mm -hmm. were with the other subdivision because I think we were pretty adamant these last five or seven years we would not approve subdivisions without the – and there's only been a few yeah. – yeah. without having the HOAs recorded. Yeah. And I, that, that, whole, that whole mess in 2008, I can't say what happened because I just don't remember. It's been yeah. seven, 16 years ago. 
And there was a rush at that time to get everything in. There's a lot of stuff that didn't happen. Yeah. Yep. And okay. I, I just, I feel for the people that have HOA on Bryce Lemon that are now going to be, in the, in the near future, responsible for the ponds. Yeah. Are they going to take care of them? And that's why, you no, know, I'm from day one. I always thought it should have been the town's responsibility, period, and not the homeowners. Which will take a change in the subdivision regs if oh, that happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's got to happen. I, I, I know. Dick, but, I don't disagree but, with you, but we got to change the subdivision regs if we do that. I, I don't, just, I just don't know where it's going to go. And I hate to see the future for that. Yeah. That's all. I, I somewhat agree with John that HOAs <laughs> oh, yeah. are a pain to read. It, they are, but at the same time, it's it's difficult to say, well, the town should take care of that pond when I don't know if the pond, if the town has any rights to take care of that body of water or that. It depends on the individual situation. The yeah. town may not have a legal right to maintain that. Well, yep. turn it over to DCR because it goes into their watershed. But again, it depends who <laughs> controls that. We may not have a say in that. So it, it's, it's, it's a tough blanket statement to say that the, you know, the town should do this. It depends on the situation. The town may not have the legal right to have a voice in that. It's possible. And, and that's well, why I was adamant. Of, and again, this is for later on. Uh, it just... It's almost like, and I hate to say this, prenup. We got to have an ironclad document <laughs> because we've been sort of. I don't want. We haven't been <coughs> locked days ago, but we've been asking for HOAs, and they've sort of been. And that's why this hilltop. I was adamant. About. And that's Again, the problem: is HOAs are not enforceable by the town. The building commissioner cannot enforce the conditions of an HOA. It's a private document. Correct. But the courts can. The, ta- the courts can, but the town yeah. cannot. Yeah. So if someone has an issue with the fact that some kind of drainage is not being taken care of by an HOA, our DPW cannot step in and no, do that. No. It's not. It's not a town. It's not the town's responsibility. The only thing Joe had said, John, where that happens is if, if say, like a private road is HOA, mm-hmm. and that drainage is coming out onto a town road Correct. causing damage, then he said I can step in. Correct. But un, uh, well, other than that. I have no control nope. over that private road. Nope. You can take care of the problem and send the bill Same to thing them. for an example is that private sewer system up on uh, Pomagusset and Britain okay. that, That's He has no control over that. Yeah. And he, and, but now Joe stepped in when he was here and helped out and paid, and the town paid for it. But legally, the town has no authority to do anything right. with that private system. <laughs> you, you know, you, you realize that they're using these E1 pumps from my road. And they are pumping, I'm going to say, probably an elevation of 200 feet up, yep. up. to the top of the hill mm-hmm. through multiple parcels of the land. Yep. <laughs> and across <laughs> Pomagusset because they pick up those four pieces of property or five next to me. That's correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. They come underneath the road to go to, the, to a private sewer system. And there, there's two wow. beavers out there going, <laughs> hey, you're covering my stuff too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, uh, just uh, right. on one of your bullets on Forest and Drive Extension, I mentioned this to uh, John. Mm-hmm. Uh, considering we've had this whole flap about, you know, the covenants and all this kind of thing, and I am 99.9% sure we have not received a covenant on Forest Hill Drive. We haven't. I can't find one in the file, so... You gotta check on... Yeah, I gotta check, I gotta check on that. Wow. Oh boy. Okay. So, with that, yeah, town plan a report. What's that? Oh, never mind. Sorry. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, the only thing I have is I encourage anyone to stop by and check out the office. It looks drastically different from three months ago. It does. Um, cool. With the two new desks in the corner and the, the meeting table. Mm-hmm. So, it looks a lot more open. Um, uh, uses Utilizes space a lot better. So, um, I anyone who wants to stop by and chat or check it out, it's, I think it's a lot more welcoming. It looked nice this morning at 7 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm assuming they patched the hole in the roof. I, I cannot, I can neither confirm nor deny that. I don't know. Okay. They were, they were working on it. Well, um, my, my desk is now out of the way of the water feature, as we're referring to it. <laughs> and, he can, and he can see them coming at him. From the- <laughs> That's right. Yeah. No one can sneak up on me now. So. That's another, another another benefit. So, no, it looks. It look, I appreciate the board um, allowing me to purchase the uh, the new desk, and I thank the conservation commission for their contribution to the conservation agent's desk. They have a nice new desk to come into when you hire somebody new. 
when they, when they get someone. Yeah. Yep. So, that's it. That's it for you. Yep. Um, I'm going to put this under other. Uh, I think it was John. Um, had a very, very brief discussion, or maybe it was Austin. Do you want to include an open session in our agendas? A public comment a public item comment. on the agenda. Yes, from now yes. on at the beginning. Okay, Most there's, definitely. There's two up. Uh, well, uh, I talk, I'm too loud. <laughs> okay. So, say, you know, it's, it's one of these things, you know, select board does. I don't know if any of the other boards. So, do. in my experience, the select board is the only board that usually has a public comment because obviously good and welfare. I know the town of Blackstone has public good and welfare where people can come in and talk about in, in Blackstone, they have a, a solar array that's causing drainage issues for homes and things like that with the recent storms and things like that. I don't know that I've seen a planning board do it. doesn't mean that they shouldn't. Um, the one thing I would caution is in doing that, um, we've got to be diligent because um, I don't want I wouldn't want people taking advantage of that to come in and basically use this as a form to vent about random mm -hmm. things or agenda items that aren't on the agenda. Mm -hmm. um, talk about something outside of a public hearing. I think that's the one. That's the one risk is uh, potential open meeting law violations. Um, so that's that. That would be my only caution: is we're going to have to be diligent about about basically making sure that what gets discussed at public comment does not put the board in a bad position with other with other things. Yeah, we'll just have there again, be. wouldn't it be nice if we did have people come in here to discuss a few things once in a while yeah. and maybe get involved with the planning board? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what I think, Norm, I keep going back to is the reason I say yes is what happened at, at Bryce Lemon with that um, water issue that you yeah. and I got mm -hmm. involved in. Right. That was a great, the public came in, mm -hmm. mentioned there's a problem. We went mm -hmm. over and looked at it. Mm -hmm. it, it. It really <clears throat> wasn't affecting the road, mm -hmm. but we were able to talk with Clee and go, you need to fix this because mm -hmm. it's flooding out That's That's a good properties. point. So yeah. in that point, I liked the public comment where they got involved and got us involved. And we really couldn't do anything from a legal standpoint, but we could tell a developer, listen, yeah. this could get worse. Yeah. <laughs> now it's coming off a 80 foot or eight, yeah, about an 80, 70, 80 yeah. foot bank. And it's just coming down like a waterfall. I In Framingham, I was asked to go talk to the manager at Lowe's because they weren't collecting their carriages quickly enough. Mm -hmm. That is the type of thing I'm talking mm -hmm. about. No, I, don't, I don't anticipate that at all. I guess the, you know, the biggest reason that I think I'm for it, and maybe I'm just a little bit paranoid, but you know, there's certainly there are some people, at least in this town, that are, that are thinking, that, oh yeah, plenty, but that's the good old guys doing all this stuff behind closed doors and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all come and nice see stuff. what we do. You know? You got public, questions? Public information session. Mm hmm Yeah. You know? I think we should include it at the beginning like the select board does. And then um, mm -hmm. people are here, please ask questions. Um, you've seen the agenda is posted. So if you got any questions on the agenda, bring it up. And my advice would be maybe we put a time limitation on that so it doesn't potentially hijack the entire meeting. 15 minutes. Yeah. 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 It's not a bad idea. And it's not a public hearing, so if it ends sooner, we can get into the regular agenda sooner. Yep. I'm sorry, you're out of line. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. So we do not recognize <laughs> the uh, uh, senator from uh, the other side of Broadway. <laughs> uh, for your information, Conservation Commission has public comment at the end oh. of the agenda. Okay. So somebody who wants to speak has it's to sit standard. through basically the whole meeting to get there. And that's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I've seen, it, I've seen it both ways. Yeah, yeah. We we have had issues that come up that frequently have no jurisdiction to the conservation commission, but we give the people the time to to speak and to raise their issue and to know that they are heard, and that is frequently enough for some people. Mm -hmm. We have also been lectured for an hour on end about the, uh, the, the Wetlands Protection Act and all the regulations by a particular person, but uh, just saying, hey, you know, this is all your jurisdiction. We say, 
yeah, we know, we understand our jurisdiction, but he felt it necessary to read to us anyway. Uh, things happen, and there does need to be some level of control as much as you reasonably can. Gavel's on the other side. But the information mm -hmm. that we collect in these not very frequent public comments are certainly interesting to us. Pete, I use your board and the planning board as I've sat in both of them and <clears throat> if it doesn't pertain to your to the conservation or to the planning board a lot of times because of the knowledge base of the boards that that public re reference to where to go yeah. is a valuable yeah, tool you can, you can direct to the public to, to where they should and, and I think that's an advantage as a relationship builder for some of the boards and the town. That's my opinion. I know we've done it, and I've seen you guys do it too, reference, well, we don't really have that. you got to talk to the building inspector about it. And it gets people going in the right direction instead of going. I mean, not a lot of people are they're new to town. They don't understand town government. They're going to learn. Hopefully, that will be comments in here we'll talk about on the 13th, <laughs> is that some training and stuff like that will become available and have sessions that can teach people and educate them. Get some of the young people involved. Yeah, and I'm getting to say that now because I'm getting old <laughs> and gray too. So. But yeah, that was one of the reasons I was really for the public session because not only the some of the boards can help with individuals, but you can get some of the comments. To John's point, it has gotten out of control sometimes, and that's where the the chairman can say, "That's it, we're done." Well, I think putting a time limit on it is helpful. Because certainly when we have public hearings, the public has a chance to speak during those. Yeah. So yeah. this is just an additional additional measure. And I don't want people to think, oh, now I can go back and comment additionally on the public hearing that just held after it's mm -hmm. after it's continued. And that's that's mm -hmm. not what that's for. So, um, again, it, it, it's going to be a new thing if it's implemented. So it would be a learning curve. But I think putting a time limit on it at the beginning especially that's, would be, not be a bad idea. I also think you need to have, if I may, have ground rules and publish them. So, for example, that the chair has the ability to cut off public comment, not just for time, but for content. Leah's on the line. Yeah. Leah, can, can I ask you, you guys on the, on the select board, if I remember right, I've sat at a meeting where you've had like a, a little spiel a of little what your expert or what the rules of conduct is. Is that correct? Am I, do I remember that right? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Is there yeah. any chance? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, we. Yeah, we do have um, uh, like a rules of public decorum kind of for any public um, meeting. Um, my only caution is, um, there's been a few case laws recently that have spoken to the um First Amendment rights of public comment. So yeah, we just need to to double check but it's basically just kind of we're going to be civil and try to give everyone an opportunity to be heard um i can find the document and make sure that it's meets case law I just want to be consistent. So, but it also like share. i said some of the things i've been hearing about the first amendment individuals who come to town halls um some of the some of the recent um case law is lay quite frankly a little bit concerning as a town employee because it seems like People are being empowered more and more to be confrontational and aggressive and disrespectful, and it seems this like as a public official, we're we're not we're not we're getting less and less given less and less ability to actually push back or stand up for ourselves. And it's not it's not an issue anyone here can do anything about. That's just something that as as someone who's been doing this for a long, it's it's becoming a concern um, because I feel yeah. like we're going to cross a line at some point where something's going to happen at a town hall. Or at a public meeting, we've already had that happen at one of. Our, I remember because I was on the board. Yeah. We had an individual that decided he wanted to curse up, and we mm -hmm. felt threatened. And we called, I forget which chief. Hop, hop, I forget which. Yeah, mm -hmm. came over and removed the individual from the. Uh, it was a public informational meeting. Or maybe it was like public hearing. I can't remember. It was over in public in hearing. the Blair room. Yeah. And uh, the gentleman, yeah, he's passed away now, but mm -hmm. we had him removed. That was because man, wasn't it? Hmm? That was Wolfman. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah I was trying to... <laughs> we had him Wolfman removed. Jack. That was his name. <laughs> yeah. 
because of that individual, John. So yeah. I still think that's I, I, I'm going to hit that number if if I feel threatened and uh, I need. I mean, I, but what I was with Leah, I wanted to get that so we could possibly make sure we're on the same page as a select board and we're consistent uh, among I boards. Think that document is the same one that I think Austin sent to me. Okay. Just over our recent yeah. thing. He said, I'm pretty sure he sent it to you too. Yeah, Once. so um, I think, Britton, you made a comment that you've seen, you've seen some I've seen a lot. Yeah, I've seen it through ZBA's planning boards yep. where in general, yeah. I, I've seen it yeah. both ways at the beginning and I've seen it at the end. Um, most of the time when there has been other issues and the public is, you know, there's an issue and they bring it up, the usually the chairman has to sort of set like, okay, how many of you here are for this issue? And then understand, is there any, okay, is there anybody that's going, that needs to say anything different? That, it, that it's got to be managed. It's got to be controlled. Right. If it's just 15 minutes, the first person who's really fired up is going to take the first 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things that, and I've seen, you know, really good chairman, they, they're very strong and they control the situation, but um, I've also seen it go off the rails. As, uh, as and it really I. drives the meeting and then, they're not getting to the agenda until an hour later. Yeah. yeah. So. And, the, and, 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 the, and like you said, and that's, that's not fair, the, to, that's the not fair to the applicants and the other, other, other people, other so. the abutters there it's on that. It's just something to hearing. consider. There does need to be a control. Yeah, I, I didn't like it on it. So yeah, even agenda first and then. Like yeah, I, I mean, Peter, I think, I think, oh, Peter left. Um, yeah. I, I don't yeah. think that's a bad idea. Especially if it's a, if it's a light agenda like this, it's not you know. Yeah, we'll get to if, it. In the interest yeah. of having people see how the board operates, mm -hmm. they would yeah. see how the board operates. Yeah, and yeah. then they can ask, they, they can ask, they can make their comments at the end. All right, is there a consensus that it should be at the end of the meeting? I'm fine with the end of the meeting. That I don't would, be. I would, yeah. And at the big, at, at least initially, um, it, does the board want to put like a 15 minute time limit on the agenda to start out? That long? <laughs> At the end of the meeting? Uh, the why don't we leave it up to Tamika? She had young kids to go home to. So yeah. it's five minutes, two minutes? <laughs> I mean, yeah. she, uh, hey, I, I have an hour drive home. Come on. Don't we have a five-minute time on town meeting? The town meeting. Yeah. Oh, well, five five minutes. You can you can, you can can read half of Gone with the Wind to the board in five minutes. No, I'm just kidding. But no, um, how about ten minutes to start out? And we can also ex we can always extend it. It, it's not. It's not something that's a, a legally binding thing. I'm okay with. Doing it's it just as a to trial. kind of set the parameters. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I think it should be the chairman's discretion if yeah. if we set a time limit. If, if where, this is a necessity to continue. Right? Is it okay? I'm hearing the yes. same thing over and over again. Do yes. we need to talk 45 minutes yes. about it, or have we? You know, do we have the information we need? Yeah. It, it, it could also be <clears> something <throat> where something comes up where it's better where if they set up a time to come in and meet with me if there's an issue that it needs is. to be looked into, or I don't have the information there and I need to look it up on certain properties. So that may come up too where. We understand the comment, but it's probably better if they come in to, to, to talk yeah. to me about something. And, and Norm has the ability, which I've seen before. In fact, I've saw the RDIC when Dick and I have been on there, is that, you know, I'm, you're out of order. This is your one gavel. At the second gavel, you're being removed from the meeting. That's the end of the discussion. Yeah. If it goes that way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that, that's the extreme side of it, and just don't ever get there, but that is an option that can be handled. That was like my father growing up. He had a very long fuse, but you didn't want to get to the end of it. <laughs> I'm okay. That's kind of me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, it, I'm, very pa I'm very patient, but <laughs> push me just to that point. And we don't yeah. that's, that's the I German have, Scottish side of me. I have man. told people to literally to shut up. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm okay putting it towards the end of the meeting. I think that's a general and, and consensus. And again, it doesn't have to be a hard and fast 10 minutes. If it's something that needs to be talked about more, yeah. the board can allow so it to go. Again, and, and I think it's a discretion of the chair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, we're like, we, you know, per item or per person. No, just overall minutes. public just comments over. Because probably minutes. nine times out of ten, it's quick. Yeah, at most means you're not going to have anyone here to give no. a public comment. No, it, it's say. for those times once in a while yeah. where somebody feels like they want to come yeah, in and address something. I'd be yep. surprised if once in six months we get it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's just like it's it's a cur it's a courtesy. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and okay. sometimes, like during the pre-elections, they'll come in because they want to learn about the planning board to see if they want to be involved or run. True. Yeah. So. 
So no, so uh, all right. Sounds like a good plan. Campaign manager. So starting at the next uh, agenda, we'll. Put I would it just tell I have yeah. another meeting. Okay. Well, I think we're. So will that be on the? You'll have a block for the agenda for public comment. No, we'll just uh, have an additional item on the agenda. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that's what yeah. I'm saying. There'll be another bullet point. Yeah. yeah. There'll yeah. be another bullet point public, somewhere down here. Public comment, and then right. so right. on right. a notification other. Other. that will go out for public mailings yeah. right after others. Yes. So yeah. that'll be posted that'll with the clerk. Our next one, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure we're. And <coughs> I mean, if, if, Norm, if Norm wants to make um, make make a statement at the next agenda, pointing out to people that from here, you know we have it on tonight's agenda. From Might this point going forward, idea. we'll have it. Yeah. Might be good to point that out to people. Yeah. Sort of a double tap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, is something else. I'm curious. Anything else that we need to talk about? So we talked about this. Excellent. Any discussion? All Aye. 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 Take deck, you're released. Thank you. <laughs>